School is a priority for parents and guardians in addition to a new declaration for School Safety Month, which we just mentioned. A community grant in Finley is trying to bring some new tools on board. John Monk has the details on what all Finley school buildings will soon have to help in response to a worst case scenario. The Finley City School Board approved the purchase and installation of the Safe Defend Active Shooter Response System back in August. This integrated system will be present in all 12 school district buildings and allows any teacher or administrator to easily trigger a building-wide lockdown in the event of an active shooter. And the warning is also immediately pushed to all local first responders. We give that instant notification, which is the most important piece in our opinion. On top of that, it also gives our teachers the ability to control their threshold in the event of an emergency, and it gives them the ability to fight back. The district says with a safe defend kit in every classroom, the first responders will have an easier time locating where the incident is taking place. We found that the teachers didn't always know the room numbers. So by, able, by us being able to implement the system, it gives us an opportunity to respond directly to where the threat would be, and there's no guesswork involved. The entire system will cost about $800,000 and the district is in the process of applying for state grants to cover the remainder of the cost. While last week, the Finley Hancock County Community Foundation awarded FCS a $100,000 community grant to go towards the new system. Not just for the young people attending school, uh, but also for parents, for staff and teachers um, to let everybody know that we support the schools. Now, right now, the plan is to have enough of the safeguard technology installed at the school buildings to have faculty and staff training by the end of this year with the entire system up and running in January. Reporting from Finley, I'm John Monk, WTOL 11.